And away we go! Whoa! <laughs> Also here with a special guest today. Who is he? Hi, it's I'm the Orlando Wizard. We decided to come out here and uh, do some rides together and vlog together. It's gonna be a lot of fun. In fact, we've already done something super secret. Yeah. Roa's Rapids. So much fun, honestly. Uh, of all the water parks, Aquatica is probably my favorite. And a lot of the favorite part is the uh, that rapids uh, lazy river. I mean, you could just kind of do that all day and have an absolutely the best of times. Zena agrees, and yep. so does Mike. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can get more content on Park Hopping Mad and see what else we did at the park today. It's coming anyway. Kiwi Traders here, where you can link your credit card if you so choose, so that you don't have to bring your wallet with you. And that is right over here, not far in. There's our friend Rob. Hey, how are you? The Orlando Wizard. Yes. And we've gotten the credit card band issue squared away. Not an issue, but we've got it linked. Now we're gonna rent the locker so that we can be very carefree. This is the $5 family dryer for after you get wet and you want to get into your car and whatnot. Five dollars. We've literally never seen anybody use these at Aquatica or SeaWorld. It's a really busy day here at Aquatica in the middle of a Saturday in the middle of summer so of course it's really busy. We had to wait a long time for parking and to even get into the park. This is the entrance to the Lazy River. It's a really long line but we're going to find out where there's a better entrance hopefully. This is the life vest rack. All of them are gone, every size, totally emptied out. We're going to explore some places to eat around here. This is the Banana Beach Cookout coming up. You'll see Zena and Rob. They have an all-day dining deal here for, I believe, about $35. We probably won't partake of that, but you can also order other things here. Well, the Banana Beach Cookout is not a buffet anymore, as it turns out. And it's a lot busier than last time we were here, so maybe that was the case. But some people do prefer the buffet. We didn't, but here it is now. Yeah. It's super busy now. So this used to be a buffet, and uh, you could pay one time. It was like under $30. It was like $27 or something like that. And then you got a discount with your membership yeah, pass. Yeah. And then you could literally eat here all day long, and it was a buffet. So you could come here for breakfast, have a, it was a breakfast buffet, then lunch, and before the park closed, come back here. But I could also get refills on my drinks all day long here. Uh, gone. It's now a restaurant, and uh, I'm disappointed. However, Kiri's Bar here does have the whole pizza plus four bottled drinks for $34.99. That's right here. It's just past the Banana Beach big Cookout. The pizza is. We do wonder how big the pizza how is. Because, you know, if it's like that big, not worth it. <laughs> Probably. Now, not personal you know, size, no. <laughs> if it's Costco sized pizza, eh, but, you know, you can get a Costco sized pizza for $10, right? That doesn't even fit into the semi truck. Yeah. <laughs> We got our lockers and shared them. Uh, the small locker, believe it or not, at the front of the park is actually enough to store about two people's stuff if you pack pretty wisely. But there are some lockers here a little deeper into the park, over by the Ray Rush. So there behind us, there's the new Ray Rush. We're gonna ride that. And yet another giant rack of life vests that are completely not sold out because they're free. Maybe that's why they're gone. <laughs> Let's be real. You know, the most fun places at almost any park are the kids' areas. This one's no exception. This is 
probably a giant pro slide setup. It's amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is Roa's Rapids Fast Lazy River here, as opposed to the slower one on the other part of the park. And you definitely, uh, our opinion is you want to have a life vest on. This is one of the few life vests we see laying around anywhere. <laughs> Everybody else has one on. Otherwise, you might knock your noggin, but it's fun to swim. Hey, vid bomb! Here we are in front of the Mango Market Grab and Go, or Crab and Go is what it looks like. I don't know that they serve crab there. We're thinking of eating there? Possibly, but the line is pretty long, so uh, we might try to do another lap and see. And the line goes There's the line. <laughs> so we might be carrying onward in our trek for food in the middle of the day. Just part of coming to a Florida water park in the middle of summer. In the middle of the day. Icy Treats is busy? No way! <laughs> We're actually doubling back to the Banana Beach restaurant where the buffet used to be because the line is not so bad. So you're seeing this again. We're going to come back to Ray Rush. Oh boy. It still looks like a buffet here at the Banana Beach restaurant, so we're gonna maybe try to ask somebody before we start grabbing food. It seems to be a la carte. We're gonna find out. We're not sure how much the pebbles cost in these jars, um, but I'm sure they're nice and crunchy. They look like they have a good fit and finish. The answer to the buffet or not a buffet question has been answered. It is a la carte here. And if you get an entree, one side is included. But, you know, this could add up quickly to what the buffet price was before. But we're going to probably play it pretty conservatively. This is a very odd arrangement for grabbing a la carte food. Uh, first they have the desserts, and then you have some sides, fruits, pickles, coleslaw. Way down at the end, you can see maybe what you want, might want for a meat or some other kind of protein. So we're really not sure what to grab here first. Okay, we finally got to our proteins and a little bit of carbs. We have mac and cheese, baked beans, St. Louis ribs, pulled pork sandwich, and a half a chicken, which goes all the way up to $13.99. Then we have some delicious looking salads. I am going to partake of that. I think Zena is going to get the pulled pork sandwich, which is $29 plus a side. What did you order here, Zena? So I got the pulled pork sandwich. I get to put my own barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> and interestingly, it is on pita bread, so that'll be something new. Let's see how it is. I like pita bread. Still filling. <laughs> Tasty. And mac and cheese. And a nice cold ice water. And some plastic and paper. Always good for roughage. The wizard, he got, what did he get? I got a half a chicken with mac and cheese. <laughs> And I actually like barbecue sauce on my mac and cheese. I put pepper and barbecue sauce on it. Don't judge me. This sounds like me though, really. I would do that. I haven't tried that, but I think I will. Oh, yeah, I will. I it's will. actually really, it looks pretty good. Um, uh, it's interesting that they don't put barbecue sauce on the uh, chicken. It's barbecue chicken. So you have to put your own barbecue sauce on. And uh, they didn't put any barbecue sauce on the carrot cake, which absolutely baffles me. Who knew? And I, Michael, got the chicken salad with black beans and some mac and cheese. No, that's not mac and cheese. What the heck am I talking about? Potato that's salad. potato salad. Different carbs. But I like it all just the same. I might grab a piece of mac and cheese from over here and put some barbecue sauce like the wizard might. Gotta try that. After having some time alone with your pulled pork pita, what do you think of it? Um, overall, the meat was... Yummy. It was nice and juicy and it had good flavor and I put some barbecue sauce with it so that made it tasty too. Um, I thought the pita bread was kind of an interesting choice. Our theory is that maybe they ran out of buns. It is pretty busy so that might be what was going on there because the pita actually fell apart as soon as I picked it up to eat it with the cold pork inside. It's just so juicy. It just ate right through the bread so I've been my pork and knife. Um, the mac and cheese is good. It's a little bit on the dry side, but I guess that kind of comes with the territory of when you have food sitting in bins under heat for a while. But <laughs> food it's, bins. It's not bad. So overall, it's, 
the tasty meal. It's filling me up, so that's good. What's your take on your half of a chicken? I haven't seen any half chickens walking around, so I'm not sure where they got it. So, um, <laughs> it was actually better than I anticipated, to tell you the truth. It uh, was very, very juicy. Uh, so, my problem with barbecue chicken at other parks is it dries out, and I feel like I'm chewing on, like, leather. Not a problem here. This was actually really, really juicy. Uh, the mac and cheese was just okay. It wasn't the best I've ever had. Um, I haven't dug into the carrot cake, but I've had carrot cake at SeaWorld and I like it a lot. And I got the chicken and quinoa salad. I did forget to mention that it's quinoa. It is actually pretty tasty. It's very fresh tasting. And I didn't have any dressing at first because there was nothing. There was no dressing at the counter. So it's kind of odd. Um, I had to go back and ask for that and they had to pull it out of a hidden trap door somewhere. Uh, the here, and uh, the potato um, salad really tastes alright, but it's a little runny. Not, used not the best food in the world, but after your discount for theme park like food, leather. this isn't the worst thing. We're going into Roa's Rapids, which is the faster lazy river, or as we call it, the crazy river. It's park hopping mad is what it is. Are we going to have fun, Zena? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How about the Orlando Wizards? I love this. This is my favorite thing here at this park. <laughs> Good exercise. Gonna work off the meals now. We were able to find some life vests. We had to come all the way into the Lazy River and claim them off of the rocks where there are various sizes. Lori? Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Are you a Florida native? Yes, we are too. It's good to take advantage of all of this, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's awesome. Out here. This is the best place to be in the summer, in the water. Absolutely. <laughs> and away we go. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Smiles abound. Let's circle around. Isn't this the greatest thing in the world? <laughs> This is probably why this is my favorite part. It's for this specific. Good side, good side. Either way. Let me help you out. <laughs> This is what a quick change in Roa's Rapids looks like from a green vest to a slightly smaller blue vest. <laughs> Missed the exchange. It was really cool looking. <laughs> yes, there is something good about having sunscreen in your eye, right? UV protection? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For a second, we couldn't think of anything awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Because this is Florida and the prerequisite or the requisite thunderstorm has rolled in with its lightning to proceed it. We were five steps away from getting on the ride. Five physical steps. A Wahala wave. We were, we were there. It was our first ride that we were even trying to go on outside of Roa's Rapids, so that was fun. <laughs> but something to expect if, if you're going to come to Florida, understand happen during the summer and especially at water parks you got to understand that if lightning strikes within five miles of the park all the rides close immediately until there's no more strikes for at least 15 to 20 minutes so here we are at icy treats instead to get a coca-cola a snack a popcorn just one or a beer or maybe all or none i don't know we'll see it's, it's banana icy time yeah. <laughs> 
It is raining approximately that hard here at Aquatica right now. It is a typical Florida summer afternoon. I have probably mentioned that. So what do you do when that happens? Well, you get a pineapple swirl in a cup or in a waffle cone. Pineapple swirl by Zena. As you can see, the soft serve is $4.49 for a cone, $5.49 for a waffle ball, $4.49 for the smaller 4-ounce bowl, and $4.99 for the 7-ounce bowl. And for $0.99 cents a piece, you can get some toppings. The Orlando Wizard noticed that somebody is using the heater for once. It's this weather. It will bring out even the most extreme behaviors. Another rainy day casualty are people in the Lazy River. All the floats are having a good time, even though they're not flowing. I'm Mike. She's Zena. I'm on this side. Oh, he fooled me. <laughs> I'm the Orlando Wizard. And we just enjoyed a crazy rainy weather day, lots of thunderstorming going on here, at Aquatica here next to SeaWorld in Orlando. Even though we rode literally zero slides or rides, we did go into Roa's Rapids and we had a lot of fun just hanging out, chatting, uh, just watching everything, and of course, Having eating. Pineapple swirl. Pineapple oh, swirl. Yeah. Yeah. He had the waffle cone, we had the cup, it was all delicious. So everything was worth the wait. We really appreciate your time. We couldn't do it without you. Remember to like and subscribe to The Orlando Wizard here. Really great guy. Very, very informative. Watch his videos. Watch their videos. I'm their number one fan. <laughs> Vice versa. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Woo. And remember to hop and be mad with Park Hopping Mad and The Orlando Wizard.